वंस अगेन वी वेलकम यू ऑन अवर चैनल शिपिंग इन बॉक्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग इन एन इंफॉर्मेटिव स्टोरीज ऑन शिपिंग इन मेरी टाइम सेक्टर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट टाइम इन इंडिया अ शिप एयर व्हिच इज नॉट रन विथ फ्यूअल बट शी रन्स ऑन विंड एनर्जी विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स मूव टू द वीडियो Maiden voyage of such ship at Dindayal Port Kandla MV E ship 1 was made fast at CJ 15A4 loading 15 windmill blades and Malara Shipping Private Limited was the agent at Kandla This vessel uses wind power to generate electricity while in the sea for running the generators on board Use of fossil fuel is limited to her stay in the harbor only. The E ship one is Roro cargo ship that made its first voyage with the cargo in August 2010. The ship is owned by the third largest wind turbine manufacturer Germany's Inercon GmbH. It is used to transport wind turbine components. The E one ship is flatten ship four large rotor sail that rises from its deck are rotated via mechanical linkage to the ship's propellers the sails or flatten rotors aid the ship's propulsion by means of magnus effect that perpendicular forces that is exerted on a spinning body moving through a fluid stream the hull of e ship 1 was built by german ship builder lindenau waft in kiel the ship's launch took place on 2nd august 2008 with the delivery date estimated for the first half of 2009 in september 2008 lindenau waft declared insolvency On 25th January 2009 it was announced that E ship 1 wow, would be towed to and completed by German shipyard Kesenas Waft in Emden steel construction work was completed in 2010 and the ship was docked at North Sea work where the final construction took place with the ship in the water in April 2010 the E ship 1 returned to Kesenas Waft where preparation were made for sea trials the ship set off for a first sea trial from Emden to Bremerhaven on 6 July 2010 Three trial runs were completed until the end of July. The ship made its first voyage with cargo in August 2010 carrying nine turbines of Castle Dock Rail wind farm from Emden to Dublin Ireland. The ship's bridge is located at Bow and it has three decks and two port related long boom cranes with payload capabilities of 80 and 120 tons the ship has a rear bump and can function as a row row cargo ship as well the vessel is 130 meter in length and 22.5 meter wide with gross tonnage of 12968 and dead weight tonnage of 10000 it is equipped with fore and after maneuvering thrust and and has an ice class gl p3 hull rating the e ship 1 was equipped with nine mitsubishi marine diesel engine with a total output of 3.5 megawatt the ship's exhaust gas boiler are connected to siemens downstream steam turbine which is in turn drives four 
inner cone developed flattened rotors these rotors resembling four large cylinders mounted on the ship's deck are 27 meter tall and 4 meter in diameter due to technical problems the mitsubishi diesel generators were replaced by caterpillar diesel generators in 2013 the new caterpillar generators generate a total power of 6.3 megawatt hello i am mithil joshi vice president malara group Malara Group since 2007 has been related to the wind energy by handling windmill towers, blades, and even the nasal tip, and is one of the pioneers in handling the odd dimension cargo. Recently, in 2017 and 2018, we hand we have handled 68.5 meters blade in twin format for the first time in India. Also. Two months back, we we have loaded 78.5 meters blade, which is again longest blade with full vessel load of the cargo at, from Kandla port aboard MV Roldock Sky, followed by BBC Ruby, Happy Rover, CY Inter Ocean 2, and at last E Ship One, which made its maiden voyage or we can say first voyage to India at Kandla port. E ship one is owned by German Germany's Enercon and is also one of the most unique vessel which is built with the GRT of 12968 meters and NRT of 8907 meters with vessel being totally wind efficient and structure reducing the wind resistance and also consuming 25% less fuel and using wind energy to power the motors which in turn power the propellers for a better propulsion and also reducing the carbon footprints about this vessel we have loaded 15 number of blades calculating to 22558 cbm and in total of five vessels we have loaded 135190 cbm of blades e ship one is also the flatner ship which means it has a fourth large fourth large rotor sails that rise from its deck and are rotated via a mechanical linkage to the ship's propellers the sails aid the ship's propulsion by the means of magnus effect and with the extended support of dpt's chairman shri s k mehta ji and team dpt we were able to achieve such milestones We hope you have got lot of information from this video. We are thankful to you for watching this video till the end. We'll meet you in next video with the interesting subject on shipping and maritime sector. Till then, stay tuned with Shipping Inbox and stay safe. Bye bye.